everybody, this is Matthew Filipovich from Heads Up and Go Left TV, and welcome to the Week in Cartoons, where we gather an entire week's worth of Heads Up cartoons into one nice, convenient location. So what do we have in store for you this week? Well, we have Sarah Palin stumping for Saxby Chambliss down in Georgia. Georgia, what were you guys thinking? We have our nation's leading law enforcement officer, Michael Mukasey, giving an odd definition of a crime. We have the Catholic Church's take on the criminality of homosexuality. We have 20,000 acts active duty U.S. troops being stationed on U.S. soil in violation of the Posse Comitatus Act, but we are going to kick things off with the report that Rupert Murdoch hates Bill O'Reilly. What are we waiting for, everybody? Let's watch some cartoons. And up. Nah, Rupert, in the new book about you, it says you hate me. Oi, Bill, I don't hate you. Ah, we never do anything together, like go to the movies. Bill, I'm a billionaire tyrant. I don't have time to go to the movies. Hey, Rupert, had a great time last night. High School Musical 3 was definitely better than Part 2, huh? You ready to go out and toss the old pigskin around? <laughs> Boy, do I hate him. Mr. President, about the report that 20,000 uniformed troops are going to be deployed on U.S. soil, which is illegal under the Posse Comitatus Act, which since the Civil War has prohibited the deployment of the military within the United States. Oh, Posse Comitatus is a quaint law, just like the Geneva Conventions, the Constitution. Look, local control of law enforcement is so 1870s. Wouldn't it be more fun to have a military junta running the country? Come on, who here wants a junta? Pope Benedict, about the Vatican opposing a UN resolution calling on governments around the world to decriminalize homosexuality. Eh, the homosexual acts are crimes in God's eyes! But your holiness, homosexuality is still punishable by prison and death in some countries. That's what this resolution is about. Well, who cares if gays are jailed or killed? As long as they don't get married, protect marriage, so says Ratzinger! Attorney General Mukasey, you said this week there is no need for prosecutions or pardons for those who broke the law in the Bush administration because their intentions were good and they didn't believe they were breaking the law. Yeah, that's what I've been saying all along. It doesn't matter if you break the law. What matters is what is in your heart and if you believe you are breaking the law. So I'm not guilty either. Laws are stupid. Now give me the keys to these cuffs, Mukasey. So I'm super excited to be here in Georgia stamping for Sax B. Chambliss. He's one tough cookie. He's got the guts to call black people to other folks and host fundraisers at whites-only country clubs. And after avoiding serving in Vietnam, he had the courage to compare triple war amputee Max Cleland to Osama bin Laden. So Georgia, show the world you're still a racist backward state by voting for Sax B. Chambliss. Hooray! <laughs> Thank you.